Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to give you the glimpse of Laravel 12 series that I am preparing these days. So we are going to build the multi-binary e-commerce website in Laravel 12 with all new features of Laravel 12 and we are going to use services, requests, resource controller and we are going to implement the new admin panel that is the admin LTE 4 and we are going to take the help of chat GPT to resolve our Laravel issues that makes our task easier and faster okay so uh, i'm going to give you the brief intro and i'm going to show you that how i am working with the laravel 12 series i'm going to uh, run my project in which i am building the admin panel uh, in laravel 12 and i'm going to show you that how i am using uh, these services uh, and controllers and and how the chat gpt is going to help us so i am going to explain you everything in this video okay so please stay tuned and please watch the complete video okay uh, so let's start i'm going to uh, make this full view okay so to show you I'm going to make it full okay so First of all, I'm going to show you the uh, features that we are going to do with this new Laravel 12 series uh, in which we are going to build the multi vendor e-commerce website. So uh, first thing is uh, that uh, we are going to, uh, going to take this pen and we are going to use this Laravel 12 framework, okay? So see, Laravel 12 framework uh, will have the new features and improvements and that we are going to implement in our new series. Okay, so uh, that is the much important, very important thing is to use those new features that the Laravel uh, 12 provides us. Okay, so that uh, we are going to do. And the next one is we are going to build the multi-vendor e-commerce. Okay, so uh, we are going to develop the multi-vendor e-commerce website and a full-fledged multi-vendor e-commerce website with the step-to-step -step integration. Uh, okay, so uh, we are going to do that and we are going to use these service classes. Okay, so for the first time we are going to use the services and we are going to understand and use the service layer for cleaner and more modular approach. Okay, so here I'm going to show you as well in my project. Okay, so, uh, so how I am using these services here and I'm going to show you in see this is the structure. And here you can uh, see if we will go in app and you can see the separate services folder. See, it is similar to the models folder. And like we used to create the models, here we are going to create the services. And in, in the services itself, we will create the two folders, admin and, and front. And admin folder will contain all the admin related services and the front uh, folder will contain all the front related services. I'm going to show you one of the service uh, th that I have built for my project. Okay, so here I'm going to show you like uh, I have the admin controller. So I have built the admin service as well. And in the admin service, we have the functions like we used to have the function in admin model, but now we are going to use, uh, going to have the function uh, in services and here you can see the our model will remain empty and all the functions uh, will be the part of admin service now so it makes our application really fast and and more clear okay so uh, this is the standard approach of using these services uh, instead of the model okay so see model we are going to use but we will keep it empty so i am going to explain you more when whenever we will start working on this laravel uh, 12 series okay so let's come back and here uh, see request handling so we are going to use the request okay so for all the validations uh, we are going to create the separate file for the validations and we are going to have the separate folder for the request as well so it will simplify validation and request data handling using laravel requests so for the validations we are going to create the separate request for every module Okay, so I'm going to show you that how we are going to manage this task and here in the Laravel 12 multi e commerce, I'm going to show you uh, we are going to have the separate uh, folder uh, for requests. See here, the request folder is separate that is under the HTTP folder along with the controllers and middleware. We are having the request and once again, 
we will have the two folders here admin as well as the front and first of all we are going to work on the admin and we are having the login request okay so i'm going to show you that how this login request will look like okay so uh, i want to open that uh, yeah this is my folder and here you can see the login request see rules and messages will come in this one and uh, see all the validations will become the part of this request so our admin controller will look see how simple it is and and see uh, here uh, the, in controllers there will be no validation at all all the validation will become the part of the request so it will uh, make our code more clean fast and clear and the standard approach okay so let's uh, now see resource controller so we are going to use the resource controller now see instead of normal controller we are going to use the resource controllers and that will uh, contain its it, its own built-in function we are going to use uh, those function uh, and see we are we will have our custom function as as well but we are going to use the source controller function as well both the function we are going to use and here i'm going to show you the resource controller we have make this admin controller this is uh, the controller resource controller and uh, and initially see uh, i'm going to show you the simple controller as well that we have used earlier in laravel 11 and all other earlier series this is the simple controller okay admin controller and this one uh, we have modified it and now it becomes the resource controller okay so we are going to use this resource controller for all the modules in laravel 12 so uh, so that we are going to use and now the next one we are going to use the admin lt for integration so build a modern user friendly admin panel using the latest admin lt4 now see earlier series uh, we have used the admin lt3 now we are going to use the admin lt4 with all new design okay that you can use for your latest e-commerce e -commerce websites okay so that we are going to use here i'm going to show you as well you can have uh, you can check here admin lt4 and that will be the latest uh, here you can see admin lt4 if you will go to the download folders and you can see the latest admin panel so we are going to use it as well and finally we are going to use the chat gpt so we are going to use the chat gpt for problem solving see how chat gpt can be helpful companion in tackling development changes so see uh, i'm uh, taking a lot of help from the chat GPT. I'm going to show you that how chat GPT helps me. Uh, see, I have asked chat GPT just to uh, make my simple controller. See here, I have pasted my controller here, the simple controller, and the chat GPT converts that controller. See, I asked the chat GPT convert above admin controller as a resource controller and also its routes. So the chat GPT provides me updater admin controller here and along with the routes here you can see the updater admin controller that chat GPT provides me. See here the all the functions have been updated here you can see this is the traditional admin controller this does not uh, this is not the resource controller all are the custom functions okay there is no index function there is no store function but the chat GPT automatically converts it to the source controller and provide me uh, see here the index function is there create function is there store function is there and it automatically uh, see uh, build up these functions with this data that i have provided in a simple controller and it completely up updates the code here you can see so it also provides me the updated routes see after that I have just integrated that and uh, and I have got one issue that I asked from chat GPT after login redirecting to uh, this link it is showing me for your four page then again once again chat GPT asked me to update uh, this code and along with these routes and after that I have updated and it starts working and after that uh, there are few other errors and the chat chat gpt asked me to update the forms action here you can see 
and uh, I have updated the form actions as well. So finally, after see like someone, some senior person is helping me again and again. See, lot of things I know myself, but I am asking the chat GPT to just test that if I will stuck somewhere, then how the chat GPT can able to help me. Okay, yes, the chat GPT can able to help us whenever we will stuck somewhere. Okay, so it keeps on helping me and at last all the issues are resolved and my controller is updated and it, the code is working fine um, so you can uh, use the chat gpt so make your account there you can log in with your gmail and you can start asking chat, chat gpt just uh, show your code there and the chat, chat gpt is going to reply with the correct code okay so the chat gpt is the big benefit for us and we are going to take the help from chat gpt in our laravel 12 series as well side by side so that we will not stuck anywhere okay so we are going to use the best practices and optimizations we are going to incorporate best practice for scalability and performance so this series is perfect for developers looking to upgrade their laravel skills while building a complete real world applications so please stay tuned for detailed tutorials practical coding tips and much more and also i want you to subscribe my channel if you have not sub subscribed my channel so please subscribe my channel it's youtube.com stack developers so that you are going to be the first one to watch the laravel 12 series okay and uh uh, you can simply uh, subscribe the channel and also you can join the channel to get the uh, laravel source code that we have done so far okay uh, so i hope that this series will help you and i'm going to show you as well uh, like the code i have done so far uh, this is the uh, code that i have done i have started using the services i have shown you the services i have shown you the request as well i'm going to uh, run this one uh, so that i will show you as well that how uh, the it's working okay so i'm going to run my project here i want to see what is the project name uh, it's in st docs personal and laravel 12 multi 3 So I'm going to run my project with the PHP artisan serve that I have just started in Laravel 12. So the Laravel 12 is not launched so far, but I am just getting preparing uh, that the things that I'm going to use so that it I'm not going to waste any time and I will start this straight away. Okay, so here you can see I'm going to run it. So here I'm going to log in. So here. See, I have built the uh, resource admin resource controller. I have shown you that this is the resource admin resource controller. Okay, so see, we able to log in. Okay, and uh, we are going to update the password as well. Okay, here, uh, like uh, if I will type something wrong, so all this new code I am going to show you. I am going to share with you. Okay, so here, if I will. Uh, the my password is correct okay then it will just show the message the correct and if it is incorrect then it will show the incorrect okay so i can simply update it and will click on submit and it is going to update and from here i can sign out as well so my purpose is just to show you that how it, it, it is working fine uh, with the request as well as the services this one is the traditional approach and and this one is the updated approach okay so we are using all these resource controller functions and we are managing everything here in the service complete logic is in services uh, in admin service and we are uh, the val validations uh, we are managing from login request okay so like this we are going to manage so completely new approach uh, so you can't copy uh, your laravel 11 e-commerce website and can start building it no no you can't do that this is totally different this multi-vendor e-commerce website now we are uh, we are going to do in laravel 12 and this time we are going to do in a totally unique way totally uh, new way in a, in a great way okay so 
Uh, so please stay tuned for that and if you have any query you can surely ask me. Uh, so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.